Hi, I'm Jesse. I have a lot of books and I want to share them with you. Today we're looking at Shakespeare. So we're going to look at this box here. These are actually all Shakespeare books. Uh, one of my only boxes by a single author, but I guess that's a pretty good one to have a box of. And uh, it's in large part filled with my wife's books. Uh, as a theater major, she did a lot of Shakespeare. So um, she's always talking about how she had to carry this book around all the time, the Riverside Shakespeare. It's hard to lift, and I think it's his complete works, which is crazy. And they're like Bible-sized text. It's kind of insane. Um, and Bible-sized thinness of the paper. Um, so that's that's an insane book there. Uh, one of my favorites is this one. This is To Be or Not To Be. And it is a choose-your-own-adventure Shakespeare book by Ryan North. And uh, I backed it on Kickstarter. That's how I have a copy. And you play as Hamlet or Ophelia and go through the adventure of Hamlet uh, making different decisions as you go and choosing what's going to happen the right way. And you go through the story with all sorts of different endings. And they're illustrated, each ending, each death or successful ending that you have is illustrated by a well-known artist. Um, and is really, really bizarre. Here's a picture of Hamlet in a time machine. Um, and Ryan North is one of my favorite comedic authors. Uh, another book of his that's amazing and it's only available online is the uh, commentary to the novelization of Back to the Future. So it, it's called uh, Back to the... I forget what it's called, but look up Ryan North, Back to the Future, and check out that book. And this is just amazing. Here's a whole section in the middle that's a choose-your-own-adventure story within a choose-your-own-adventure story. Um, and uh, the, different, the different illustrations are hilarious. Here's a picture of Hamlet drinking poison um, and the king and all sorts of different things. Um, that's a great book. And then the sequel was... Romeo and or Juliet, uh, similar concept. Um, I thought this one wasn't quite as good as the first, but still pretty hilarious with a lot of uh, illustrations that are pretty funny. Um, so those are very cool. And I have a couple little uh, extra things from the Kickstarter campaign. Here's some stickers. Here's a little book called Poor Yorick that I think is The Adventures of Yorick. Then what else do we have here? Um, these books, uh, the Stratford Zoo Midnight Review presents uh, both Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth. And we have these because they're actually um, comics and they're colored uh, by Alyssa Harris, who's a friend of ours. Uh, so that's really cool to get to see um, work done by a friend that's always nice and these are fun sort of children's versions of uh, Shakespeare of animals putting on the plays so that's a lot of fun um, this one is part of a series this is much ado about nothing it's this stunning edition just really nice and the catch the interesting thing about it is actually it's really nicely designed but it has cut paper sculptures in it these cut paper illustrations and they're so fragile and delicate and interesting and there's a couple of them throughout the book and even the other illustrations printed are with cut paper and uh let's see here Look at this. Just look at that. That's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. How, how does that even exist? How does someone do that? Um, and there's a series of these, and I only got the one, 
because they're very pricey, but uh, I'd love to collect the others. Um, the illustrator is Kevin Stanton. The author is William Shakespeare. Um, so that's Much Ado About Nothing. That's a really nice one. Then we have this little series here. Um, this Folger Library is a very common, uh, popular Shakespeare version. Um, but this one, The Winter's Tale, uh, was a gift from my wife in one of our early dates. Um, and its sole claim to fame as a Shakespeare play is that someone exits pursued by a bear. And that's the, the main highlight. So now I spoiled it for you. That was spoiler alert to Shakespeare, I guess, too soon. Um, and then we have a lot of other Shakespeare books. We have a couple redundant versions um, that I can't, I guess I could get rid of or sell, but uh, it's just nice to have. Um, here's the complete works of William Shakespeare abridged, which is a play that my wife was in, um, which sounded hilarious, but I haven't seen. And here's a DK book. If you looked at my um, book about, uh, my video about travel books, uh, I talk about a lot of the DK books. They're really well designed and nice to look at in terms of the layout and, and the design. So that's a little about Shakespeare and the different versions and the different uh, iterations you can have uh, of his plays. And that's all for now. Like and subscribe if you can. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks.